My name's Sav and this is Run The Tapes. Today we're going to be analysing the trust that England have in their back three and how their pacey threats caused France to panic. England have a try rightfully disallowed early in the match because a sneaky seven holds her opponent in the scrum. The move that England carry out to create the space betrays where they think their threats lie. England carry hard with Hunter off the back of the scrum, and you can see from this picture that the English backline is standing almost flat, as if they were defending. This is indicative of a set play move that in this case will involve a multi-phase structure. Jess breaches in off her wing behind the scrum with hopes of making the French focus on the threat down the 10 channel. If I'm the defending fly half, a few options go through my head. Number one, this is going to be a chip or grubber kick through and I should alert my fullback to cover the space behind. Option two is there will be a crash ball down the 10 channel followed by a quick clear out with an idea to spread it wide second phase. This is a very hard setup to defend against, especially when executed correctly. As soon as Hunter carries off the back of the scrum, the French are scrambling inwards fearing a breakaway. We see Jess Breach and two forwards running support lines and they secure the ball extremely quickly with no loss in numbers to the English backline. There's a general rule at ruck time that any ruck that's quicker than 3 seconds from formation to the ball being played is a good attacking ruck. This is because the defence haven't had enough time to retreat and set up their structure. England in this case looked to set up an extremely fast ruck with the plan to utilise Riley's quick service and Scarrett's flat passing ability. The English scrum also manipulate their positioning to favour an 8 pickup. By wheeling slightly and exposing Hunter to board on, it forces the French fly half to turn their shoulders inwards and immediately that sets the tone for the French defence. All of this comes from a smart manipulation at scrum time with everybody singing off the same hymn sheet. Sadly, as mentioned earlier, this try was wiped out due to a bit too much manipulation at scrum time, but overall it really showed that England came with some very effective strike moves in their back pocket. England know that their back three, and especially the wingers Kelly Smith and Jess Breach, have the beating of their opposite numbers, especially given half a yard of space. The idea behind the English game plan is to give them an opportunity to use their pace as much as possible. Key to this is Katie Daly McLean and Emily Scarrett, and their tactical kicking game. Here we see Emily Scarrett ping one of the best territory finders World Rugby has ever seen. Sat behind her own 10 meter line, she manages to force the French fullback to kick the ball into touch 5 meters out from their own try line. The speed of the chase from Kelly Smith puts panic in the back three of France, and from this moment you can see the formation of England's third try. The second try once again comes from attacking out wide and using the threat of pace on the wings and recycling the ball extremely quickly. This try is a huge credit to the support players and Leanne Riley for getting across so quickly to each breakdown and keeping that ruck time as low as physically possible. Riley tracks the play across the pitch, anticipating where the ruck will be rather than where the ball is now. This is a hallmark of all good scrum halves and means that she's right there on the spot to provide the short pass to see England go crashing over once again. The third try England score was a wonderful bit of heads up rugby from Emily Scarrett. The French fullback takes the ball into contact in the middle of the pitch and is promptly turned over. Coaches call the next attacking phase a transition period. It's the most dangerous time to attack as teams that were set up to attack are having to scramble to get back into a defensive structure. The last thing is a French player that you want to see at this point, Scarrett getting her hands on the ball in space. As France desperately try to realign their structure, Scarrett puts complete faith into Kelly Smith's pace and nudges a beautifully weighted kick in behind the French defensive line, making them turn. Once again, England's speed is on display as Smith burns past the two defenders and takes the ball perfectly on the bounce to score under the posts. The trust that England have in the kick chase and their wingers is really good to see and I hope this continues throughout the tournament and through the rest of the year. The last try I'm showing just kills the game for England and just is a lovely bit of footwork and a lovely offload and Jess Breach scores her second try of the day. Thanks for listening, this has been Sav and if you want more Run The Tapes please like, comment and subscribe.